Hello my friends, my name is Tom with WeaponsEducation.com. Thank you always for joining in. I have an interesting video for you today. And please subscribe. Please thumb up the video. It means a lot to me right now. Please thumb it up. And what I'm doing here is something a little different. I figured I'd throw it on video because today what I was doing with normal rectangle pelican cases with the foam in it, okay, uh, as you know, the foam comes in a normal rectangle pelican case. This is a guitar case, and it's a little different, so I figured I'd make a video out of it. And I want to put a shotgun in here. I'll show you what we're doing. I want to show you how to cut the foam out. So with a normal rectangle one, you've got a lot more room to work with. But I decided with this shotgun, I... It's kind of interesting. It's a little different. Put it in a guitar case, and that's uh, a neat way to go to the range and, and uh, you know, easily conceal a firearm without drawing attention. But to cut the foam is, is not as simple as you might think. And this is true for any type of case like this. Um, and I've ruined enough of this foam, which is ex extremely expensive in the Pelican cases. Or with this company, I can get these guitar cases for you. They're hard to find, but I can do it. You just got to call my store at 954-804-4381. If you think this is a neat idea for yourself, it's hard to find, but I can get it. I want to do it right the first time. And it comes with three layers of foam. One, two, and the third one's over here. So I'm going to tell you the tools you need. Most people think they can probably use a razor blade or a pair of scissors. No way impossible. It's not going to work. It's going to look terrible and you're going to be really aggravated with yourself. The only way to do it, you need two, two products. One, a marker to mark the foam. You're going to, we're going to make a mold. Two, you need one of these electric turkey carving knives, okay? And they even sell them for the purpose of cutting foam on Amazon. They're about 20 bucks, these things. And this is how you cut your foam out, okay? People use it for uh, hobbies and things like that. Now, what? I, here's the weapon we're gonna deal with today. They're beautiful, beautiful. And I told everyone to buy these, now they don't make them anymore. Okay, this is, an FNSLP, total nine rounds. I got three inch triple op buck magnum. So I figured you know, this is really a nice battle gun. And I figured it, the guitar case is just something different. So I, this would be a good idea to do a video on. Now I'm gonna show you how to cut it out right now. So I'm gonna move the case and bring the foam over and you just got the two tools you need the knife and the marker now this shotgun is a little odd for this guitar case because of the forward grip normally I would have the muzzle in this thin spot but the forward grip is too wide so I have to kind of do it in an unorthodox way but that's okay it's going to serve my purpose. I'll be able to carry it in this guitar case. It's the only way to do it because it's too wide from here to here to be at the neck of the guitar case. It's going to barely fit. Barely fit, but it'll work. Now what I'm going to do is, you got to think upside down because this is what I, when I open up the case, this is what I want to see. I want to see my rounds, the shells, and this is the exact look I want to see when I when I open up the case. So you have to do it upside down because we're going to flip it when we're done cutting it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And this is true for all foam. You got to kind of think upside down. I'll show you what I mean. Now, I'm going to trace it and when you cut it, you want to cut it smaller than the gun. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to trace it with a permanent marker here and I'm just going to trace it. 
I'd rather it be too small than the hole being too big because of course the foam you can squish it into a smaller hole if it's too big it'll rattle around so I'm just making my my mold here so now we're not going to see this yellow when we're finished because we're going to flip it over Arts and Crafts lesson of the day with, with Tom. And if you guys, that's the Viper, by the way. I haven't spoke about this in about eight, nine years. If you guys are into muscle cars, that puppy's 800 horsepower. I mean, it's really tricked out. If you want me to do a new video on it, I'll do it. Just tell me in the comments below. So it's, it's sitting here ready to rev. And I've been going to the beach with it lately here. And let me know if you're if you're into muscle cars. It's a 10 cylinder, 800 horsepower, supercharged. Now that we got this molded, so to speak, now I can cut it. Okay. Now I'm going to cut inside the yellow because I'd rather it be too small than too big. I can always make it bigger. And like I said, you can't use a razor blade. And you can't use scissors. It won't work. But this goes through it like, like butter. Don't cut your fingers. And you want to do it outside because it makes a mess. Just getting started is a little pain. But once it's started, just take your time and cut your line. Okay, as I'm carving out my template I want to tell you that you want the knife pointing away from you if you're righty and then hold it with your right hand and with your left hand pull the foam towards you and cut inside the line and you see it buzzes right through it Now I'm just finishing up, there, okay. Now I got my template cut out, and of course that's why I did it upside down, because you would not want to see this yellow. So let's see how it comes out. Okay, fast forward here, let's see how I've been doing. Now you see the yellow is on the bottom of this. This case, it comes from a, uh, some off-the-wall company and it's got an egg crate type foam. It's really good pelican case quality foam. Uh, the case itself is not a pelican quality case but it's only sounds like a lot but it is only 300 where compared to pelican cases they're really expensive five to eight hundred. This case comes with three layers of foam. Top which I already cut, middle and bottom. Now I knew this was going to happen because the shotgun, I've got the shell carrier, a saddle type thing here on the side. I've got the forward grip. I've got this flashlight. I've got a lot going on here. So it fits in here real tight. Okay, I'll show you at the end. But when I can't close it right now because of these, the flashlight particularly and, and these shells. So what I have to do, and you'll, you'll have to do also if you get a Pelican case, that has multiple layers of foam you don't only just cut the top but then that's why they give you a middle one I'm gonna have to cut the middle out also so I'm gonna make a template of that and then I'll show you in a minute here I'm gonna use the marker I'm gonna then cut the middle one out so it can go down deeper in and then it will close and buckle hopefully it works out good it barely fits the shotgun. I know this application should be for a smaller, like AR or something. But I want to see if I can squeeze this big shotgun in there. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's try. Okay, I used the yellow marker. That's what the template's going to look like. And I'm going to go to work here with my turkey cutter. Okay, let's do that right now. Okay, so the middle section, 
I cut it out nice. You got the bottom foam here, you keep solid. That middle, I made it kind of a little bigger because I want the shotgun. Here it is, to fall all the way to the bottom, and it does. Nice. I don't have to worry about it being so tight. Like the top one, I want it to be a little tighter to keep it nice and snug. Okay, and that's this one here. And that's, that's finished. It's in there. Because this is flush to the top, this top foam. I had to use all three layers of foam because of the, to make the flashlight and those shells level. And what I'm building, while well, this is on my mind, at my leather factory, what I'm manufacturing is, this is a cheap one here, this is a junky one, the sling that carries your shells, that attaches to the front and back, I'm going to make it out of really nice leather. And that's going to be, somehow I'm going to circle it up like this and put it in this spot here I'm envisioning ultimately when I, when I get the leather one made and then I'm also gonna make out of leather what's called a bandolier to carry your shells which is the ultimate way to carry shotgun shells on your body you see in the movies a bandolier goes goes around your body from your right shoulder to your left hip for instance if you're righty and it's, it's got shells that go around your whole body I'll do a video on that when that product is ready to go for sale. All handmade. So there you go. Now let's close it. And uh, this is just a cool way to carry a shotgun. Watertight. I'm not sure if it's waterproof. It's got all the gaskets for waterproofing, but I haven't tested it. And it rolls and it's got a handle and it rolls nice and so it's easy to roll like a piece of luggage and that's what I wanted to show you my little product project that I was doing I did some others in Pelican cases like some ARs and AKs and I put a, a 308 in one also and the big giant Pelican cases like a foot longer and a foot wider big giant rectangles that's a whole different, that's a lot easier than this, so I figured I'd do the video with this one here. And there you go, my name is Tom. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching the channel. You know I care about all of you. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.